Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I am about to post a really cool uh, bass play along with slapping on the bass. And I figured, well, this is probably a great chance to do just a little short video to introduce the basic elements of slapping on bass. Um, so hopefully it will help you to play with the play along that I will post following up. So just to clear a few things when you practice uh, your slap in case you have um, you know, a tone that you're not happy with, this would be a good place to check that you were doing all these things I'm about to suggest. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about when playing slap is obviously the thump, the good old thump. Um, it's very important for your sound. It's really the generator of that groove. Uh, now it's important to, to talk about the fact that slap actually became um, its own universe because it was more percussive than, than the usual regular finger style playing and that's how it became such a huge thing in music as we know it today. So it's really important that all those sounds that you're generating that they have this really good punch to it and the thump is just one of them. So this is where I'm hitting my thumb. Now there's a lot of different techniques when it comes to the thumb. It could come from different angles. The way I like to play slap is unlike finger style where I'm coming kind of from the top. When I'm playing slap I'm gonna come from the side. See I'm almost hugging the bass giving a little thumbs up here. I'm coming from the side and I'm gonna hit with my thumb when my thumb is not a 90 degrees, it's more like a 45 degrees to the string, and I'm just gonna hit the string. Now you don't want to punch it. I know that it's called slap, but there is no violence at all with this style of playing. It's actually all based on simple, you know, just physics. I'm just letting it fall straight on the string. And of course you can control how much you actually want to let it go. You also have to be precise when you do it. Because when you get to the other strings, you want to make sure you're not hitting the other strings. So you want to play it slow. I highly suggest working with a metronome as always, just so that you can get that nice little sound and also be clean. Uh, one of my little tips for being clean when you're doing the little thump is because I'm doing this um, in this kind of angle I can have my my wrist and my forearm almost kind of leaning on the string so I can get a little bit more of a damp in my slap. So that's my tips regarding the thump in the slap. Of course the other part in the slap is the pop. So it's kind of the reaction to the thump So the way that I play this, I take my um, index finger and I almost put kind of a little hook underneath. And it's really easy to start practicing it with your G string. So you just put it underneath and again, no violence, even though it's slap, you just take your little hook and you pull it up. Now don't worry about the, your strings, they're gonna handle that. Those are nice, big, sturdy strings. I don't think you're gonna rip them. So. This is the kind of sound you want to get out of your bass. Then you can combine the thump and you can combine the pop all together. Now what I'm playing here and the reason it sounds so good is because this is um, what probably like 90% of the slap grooves are based on, which is just a simple octave. So if you look at my left hand to get that shape of the octave, I'm playing let's say C on the third fret on my A string and then the octave is going to be two strings apart, two strings up pitch wise, not you know the actual height wise. So two strings apart down up in pitch and then I'm gonna pluck that higher C octave on the fifth fret on the G string. Now that's a cool shape that you can just take everywhere you go so I can do it with C I can do it with G, I can do it with D, I can do it really everywhere I go and it sounds good because um, there's a lot that is based on that kind of shape so it's a good thing to know when you start working out your slap. Now other, the, other than those 
simple elements of slap. Some other things you may want to get familiar with are the ghost note that I really love as you may have seen in my previous tutorials. So that's just hitting it without really putting all the pressure on your strings. I'm just almost holding the string. brings this kind of extra rhythmic element to it. Um, and another thing you can do is you can actually thump the strings with your left hand. As a matter of fact, a lot of times when you want to create this nice little crackle in the groove in the beginning, you can use that as you keep on going. So there's nice little thumps because again, reminding you what I just mentioned before, it's a rhythmic style of playing. It's very percussive and we should treat it as one. Some other things that you may want to be familiar with are the pull off that you can use for your tone as well. It's kind of a little rock thing I just made. And um, of course the hammer on, which actually I use in most of the things I play slap with. So what do you do when you hammer on? You literally hammer on. It's a very simple terminology here. So I can play the C and then I'm going to hammer on my D without doing another attack, without having another attack on my right hand. So that way you can actually play faster because you don't have to have your right hand playing every single thing. Just to show you, um, it also sounds different as in that would be what happens if I just thump every one of those notes against. So that's really the element of basic slap. Now it took me just a few minutes to lay it down, but the truth is you're probably struggling with it right now. So first of all, that's okay. It's a different, completely different world than fingerstyle bass playing. So take the time to practice this new technique. Um, things you may be struggling with are hitting the right string and not getting the sustain from strings that you don't want to get sustained from. You might be having some trouble popping easily because it's another different element that you want to take into consideration when you want this nice crisp sound to it. So give it time, try it out. In the beginning, I would even try it out with no metronome, just trying to get to that right sound. If it's frustrating to you, leave your guitar, come back the next day and try again. Um, if you need some, you know, more insight or you want to rewatch this to see again that you're doing everything right with the, your technique, go ahead, do this, take your time. There's no rush. Once you feel more comfortable with the actual technique and the way that your sound is, I would say pick the metronome, then maybe start playing something like octaves, you know, just simple octaves on the corner notes. You can see that this is already creating a really groovy tone that you can use in your recordings, your performances, and so on. So we had all these cool things happening with slap. Try to just give you a little, you know, just to give you a few pointers before I publish my new cool slapping play along. So I hope you find this helpful. Please feel free to put your questions here in the comments and I'll try to answer and be helpful as much as I can. Uh, be sure to check out my new group class that is starting February 17th. Hit subscribe so you'll be the first one to know when that play along is coming out. And thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.